Good morning, my lovelies, and welcome to a, a slightly overcast and breezy Monday morning. I hope you're all really well. So, lovelies, feeling a little bit of a down this morning. Sarwin's been and gone, and I always feel quite upset when Sarwin disappears. I don't know, it's like Christmas, isn't it? It's like Yule, you have your Yule festivities and then you pack your decorations away and you're always feeling a bit deflated. Deflated is the word I'm looking for, love. It's not down and deflated. But yeah, it's feeling a little deflated this morning. Um, but, on a better note, love, please, Today is the start of the Pagan New Year. Now, I've heard this phrase banded about for as long as I've been on this path of mine. You know, that Sarwin, after Sarwin, you have a Pagan New Year. And I weren't quite sure what one of these were. You know, is it, is it the same as an ordinary New Year? No, is there anything special going on? Talking of New Year's lovelies, have you seen the new growth on the corn here? Got me down for a few weeks and there's already new growth in this field. So that's corn for next year. So yes, what was we saying? Yes, so I've heard the phrase Pagan New Year banded about for as long as I've been on my spiritual path. Um, and I wasn't quite sure I knew what it meant, but I wasn't sure how how it sort of came about. So, you know, over the years you do you do some reading and you do a bit of research and you listen to what people have to say, um, and you think, yeah, it is quite right, really, because from spring onwards you put all your time and energy into planting food and tending it and growing it and watering it and looking after it to make sure that you've got a good supply for the autumn to pick so you spend all year doing that protecting it from the weather and what have you then summer comes along and you have your final hurrah and you start bringing things in from about august time you start bringing things in corn whatever your fruits and your vegetables come come through in the autumn and you lay down a stock a supply of food that would hopefully see you through the winter So what do you do in the winter? Well, not a lot really, because what is there to do in the winter? Your days are too short to do any work, the nights are too long, it's too cold, it's too wet, and in the bleakest of winter you're gonna get snow. So what is there to do? Well, for our ancestors, it was just to survive basically you just got to get through the winter in the hope that you've laid down enough supplies and you have enough firewood and you, you'll see a spring and once, once you've got spring coming through you can start again and it's just a cycle isn't it it's just like a never-ending cycle you plant stuff, you grow stuff, you tend it, you look after it, you weed it, you protect it from the weather, you water it. When it's ready, you bring it in. You store it, you make sure you've got enough supplies. You try and get through the winter as best you can. In the oak, you see a new spring. Spring comes along, you start all over again. So that bit I understand. The term Pagan New Year for me is, is honouring what our ancestors did. 
because we follow the old ways, we follow the old seasons, the old ways of doing things. And although I'm not a farmer, you know, I'm not an ancestral farmer, I'm not doing things physically the old way. You know, I'm not trying to grow things to keep me alive through the winter. I do honour the seasons and I honour the Sabbaths and I honour all that means getting up and I honour and I honour our ancestors. So I thought what other way can I <coughs> excuse me please what other way can I try and honour the year, the wheel of the year, my ancestors, the old ways of doing things. So over the last sort of week or so, I've been trying to think of ways I mean, I already do Sabbaths. I already put offerings out for Sabbaths and, you know, ancestors and things like that. I already do that. I just wanted to try and find another way. And I thought, what about if I did a spiritual journal for 12 months? And hopefully if I get into the habit, then I can carry it on. But to try and get into a spiritual sense of what makes me tick, what is it I want from life, you know, those kind of things, the spiritual side of things. Um, looking online you know how to, how to do a, a spiritual journal what's the best way of doing it all this that and the other and I was very confused and bamboozled by it all and then I thought sales what are you doing why do you need guidance on this what are you always telling everybody else? A pagan path, there's no right or wrong way in which you do anything. It's how you feel about it. How you feel on the day about it. So, I thought, bugger it. I don't need some kind of, some help or whatever. So I've decided, being as it is a pagan new year today, that I'm going to spend the next 12 months trying, trying being the word, trying to do some kind of spiritual journal. Because I know I walk a, a I, and I'm going to use the word loosely here lovelies, I know I walk a spiritual path loosely. But I sort of have no direction with it. I seem to be meandering along, you know. I'm looking at the trees, I'm looking at the birds, I'm looking at the flowers. I'm enjoying the, the river, the brook, whatever, on my little spiritual path. Every now and again I've come to a, a bit of a problem when I've questioned it. Got no, no, no lust or love for it. But I thought, no, let's, let's walk this path properly with meaning and with passion. Let's, let's look at what it means to be pagan, 
let's look at what it means for me to be a witch. Let's look at what it means to follow an ancestral path, to honour our Sabbaths, to honour our seasons, to honour the rituals that we've all grown up with but have no idea where they've come from. Let's look at it, let's walk it with passion and meaning. I mean, it might all fall apart in three months' time. I might get bored with it and not bother. But for now, while the, the energy is there, that's what I'm looking for, the energy is there, let's look at it, let's get it going. Because I'm not entirely sure what's going on in my life. I'm 51 and I've never been entirely sure what's going on in my life. I have so many, so many questions that need to be asked and answered. That I don't know, maybe walk in a spiritual path and trying to journal it might find me the answers I don't know we can but try so lovelies on this beautiful 1st of November day I'm wishing you all a very blessed Monday I'm wishing you all a very very blessed November I'm wishing you all a very blessed pagan new year look after yourselves lovelies please be kind to one another and as always I'm sending you much love and many blessings.